Richard Southern joins us once again on this Thursday. Hi, Richard. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Hey, so you and I were uh, feeling the pain last night when we could not tweet for about an hour or two. Rich, uh, uh, Twitter experiencing a, a massive data breach, and they, uh, like, paused verified accounts. And the stocks also uh, impacted after that event. Yeah, Twitter shares were down a, a percent today after that big uh, that big data hack. It was really something to see. I actually fell for the first time I saw it. Uh, Elon Musk supposedly had a tweet saying, hey, send me Bitcoin and I'll send you some more back. It was pretty obvious. I mean, I saw it for the first time and I thought, well, what's this all about? It turned out, though, these hackers broke into accounts of all the big celebrities, all the big official companies. They, they put out these tweets asking for Bitcoin. Janelle, a lot of people actually fell for it. Uh, blockchain records show the scammers made $116,000 from more than 300 people. As for what happened, Twitter described it as a social engineering attack. This is where a hacker tricks someone into giving their login credentials. Maybe you get a, an email that looks Looks like it's from your boss, but it's really the hackers. However, Vice's motherboard uh, news service said they heard from the people that said they're behind it, and they claim to have bribed a Twitter employee. Wow. So we're still trying to figure out exactly what happened. But think of the, the implications here, Janella. I mean, Trump's account wasn't hacked yesterday, but imagine if it did get hacked by someone. And for example, he sends out a tweet declaring war on someone. The implications of this are huge, and that's why Twitter needs to get to the bottom of it and figure out what happened. And it would be hard to know what's real and what's fake based on what he has tweeted in the past. I turned on my two-step verification after last night, by the way. Someone recommended uh, I do that, and you can do that on your Twitter to protect your account Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's good advice. They always, you know, try and change your password as often as yeah. you can. Yeah. Okay. We know that uh, the buffets won't be allowed to be open as part of stage three of the province's reopening tomorrow. But you're hearing from an expert about what the future of the buffet business could look like. It's going to look a lot different. So in Las Vegas, Janela, one of the biggest buffets in the world, the Bacchanal Buffet in Caesars Palace, is getting set to open in the next week or two. And it says diners will no longer share those tongs. Instead, the buffet will have little miniature composed dishes already on plates. You just take mm. the plate. They'll also have someone deliver uh, certain items to your table. I talked to food expert Chilvin Solibois today about the future of the buffet business. That model will need some tweaking at least for a while uh, until we get back to some sort of normal. Uh, they're going to have to make sure that people feel safe uh, when they actually uh, have access to that food. And, and so there'll probably be different ways of doing things. Uh, some will actually bring the food to uh, patrons while uh, others uh, may actually decide to customize some of their buffets uh, for, for families and groups. Because, Janella, the thought of everyone breathing on the food and touching the same things, it's hard to imagine right now, No, isn't it? thank you. I'm not eager for the buffet to come back. Okay, on the no. topic of changes to the food industry during the pandemic, at least one kitchen is becoming more automated. A burger chain is hiring robots to make your fries. Where's this? It's White Castle, that, you know, slider burger chain in the States. They put in this guy. His name is Flippy, Janella. This is a Japanese robot. And he's an expert at flipping burgers on the grill. He knows exactly when to do it, how to do it. Flippy never calls in sick, never <laughs> complains. And yeah, you don't have to pay him a salary. That's the important thing. Uh, they're going to try him out in one uh, restaurant, Janela. He also works the fry station, dropping the fries in the hot oil. Now, the chain says it's not going to cost anyone's job. They're going to put the humans to work doing other things. That's what a lot of companies say right now. But you got to think down the road. That might eventually start uh, costing uh, humans their job. Janela, you and I are back just a little bit after 6.30. NASA out with the clearest, most close-up pictures ever taken of the sun. We're going to show you those coming up after 6.30. Thanks, Richard. Can't wait. We'll see you next hour. Thanks.